Hello, welcome back. Today we'll be getting rid of my copper chloride, so we'll be get, refining the copper out. Oh, that's an empty pot. <laughs> Ignore that. So we'll be doing, I'll, I'll measure how many litres it is because they're fill up, it's fill up of copper and I've already got um, enough copper chloride to use for stuff, so I need to get rid. So I'll just be getting all the copper out and we'll weigh it up and see how much copper we get per litre, which would be quite useful. So here we have just under 5 litres, about 4.95 litres. It's almost 5 litres, so close. And all we're going to do is chuck in some aluminium and it'll keep reacting with it and dropping the copper out of the solution and I'll just keep adding the aluminium until it's all uh, until all the copper's out. You better to tell by the colour. So afterwards the copper will just be a powder so it doesn't matter if there's any stickers or anything on it. The reason I'm using aluminium is because this acid's been overused, used over and over and over again so any gold which is in there, it would have been in there, would drop, drop out each time so there won't be any. So I'm not even going to test it, there's just no need. If uh, I do recommend testing, but I know for 100% this doesn't have it. I'm going to use this. I know that's steel. Steel is what you'd usually use, but anything less than that will drop other metals out as well. But I know it's almost just copper in here, and it doesn't need to be perfectly pure for me. It'd be, clo it'd be close to pure anyway. Aluminium reacts hard in um, copper chloride and hydrochloric acid. It's got this outside part which is stopping it from reacting, so it's not going to react as much as it could. But it will eventually. I know this is steel, but chuck it in anyway. You can see it bubbling already. I'm just going to put the lid on and leave it. If the bubbles weren't there, you'd be able to see it reacting, but you can see it's fizzing. I'll come back later on when it's done. About six minutes in, you can see the copper sticking. That thing I've literally just thrown in, and it's copper colour already. So it shouldn't be too long, I'll leave it a couple hours. Just one hour, ten minutes in, kind of a bit fluffy. See sheets of copper. Going a bit slow, but I'm going to just leave it overnight, I think, and see what it's like in the morning. I'm just going to show you the reason why you should be careful with hydrochloric acid and aluminium. Uh, I'm going to hold my breath when I go near it. I don't want to sit my mask on. As you can see it causes quite a big reaction and it heats up like mad so you got to be careful what you store it in and what you do. It's been boiling in the UK so I'm just letting it all dry out in the sun. See there's a bunch of copper. It doesn't look very clean but once it's dry it'll be a lot nicer looking. Hello welcome back. This is the copper we've recovered. Almost pure. Um, obviously if we'd done a higher amount of acid we'd recover more per litre because um, They'd be less stuck to the steel still. But the steel is still a copper colour where I can't get it off because it's too thin and there's lots of it. Um, so we'll weigh it up. It works out after including the copper which is in it. It would have been four and a half litres of hydrochloric acid. So you cancel out to zero. As you can just about say, 261 or is that 267? 261 grams of pure copper from four and a half litres. So that works out like 60 grams of copper per litre which is way less than I was expecting. Um, yeah hopefully I'll be able to cover more in future videos where I'm doing 30 or 40 litre bat batches. I'll video of that as well and we'll just see. Uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on any video ideas you have. Bye bye.